right, welcome back. So you are pretty much a pro now. You know how to draw your free body diagrams, you break them into X and Y, you do all those steps, you can answer all the questions. So why don't you try this one? We've got a person pushing a lawnmower along the ground. There's a friction force of 10 newtons. He's pushing with an applied force of 20 newtons, and the mower is accelerating at 0.4 meters per second squared. The mass of the lawnmower is five kilograms. And the question is, A, what is this angle theta to the horizontal that the person pushing the mower is pushing at? And part B, what is the magnitude of the normal force? So what I want you to do is try it. Stop the tape, draw your free body diagram, and try it. You haven't pushed pause. OK, good. So now hopefully you've drawn your free body diagram. And it looks something like this. There is, of course, gravity, which is equal to m times g. There is, of course, a normal force. There's an applied force down and to the right at an angle of theta. There is a force of friction, which is 10 newtons. You've drawn your free body diagram. Second step is to break it into x and y. So we'll have x. Of course, before I do that, I need to actually define my x and y. The mower is going to accelerate in that direction. Okay. So I've got x and y defined. I'm going to draw fx. will look like that. Fy here. Fy. So hopefully your free body diagram looks something like that. Stop the tape again. What is Newton's second law going to say in the x and in the y directions? Pause. All right, welcome back. So hopefully in the x direction, you have fx minus ff equals ma. And in the y direction, you have Fn minus Fg minus Fy equals to zero. Okay. So again, these are pretty generic. Let's actually dump them in, uh, dump some of our information in. Fx. What is Fx? We never worked it out. Well, we can't really work it out because all we know is that it's Fa cos theta. But that's something. Similarly, we know Fy is Fa sine theta. Okay. No problem. Let me dump that in. I'm trying to find, for question A, I want to find theta. But it's not in either of these equations, so what do you do? Hopefully you don't panic. You don't, you don't panic. You go ahead and let's put the expression for fx into our equation. So fa cos theta minus ff equals ma. Now in this question, I don't know theta and I want to find it. But I could just as easily have told you theta and asked for fa. I could have asked for ff. M or A. Whatever we've asked you to do and whatever you're looking for, you should be able to find it in one of these two equations. So in this case, to find theta, cos theta will equal MA plus the force of friction over FA. Do a little more math and we find that M, 5 times A, 0.2 is 2, plus 8 is 10 over FA, which is 20. Ooh. 10 over 20 is 0 0.5. The inverse cosine of 0 0.5 is 60. So theta equals 60 degrees. Hopefully you have that now. If you still haven't done Fn, hopefully you have no excuse. You should certainly be able to find Fy and do it. So try it now, please. Try it now. All right, we're back. You've hopefully gotten the right answer. You can rearrange this to say that Fn equals Fg plus Fy, but Fy is Fa sine theta. We know sine of theta. 20 sine theta will be 17, so we've got Mg, I should write, plus uh, 20 sine of 60. What's Mg? Mg is about 50. 20 sine 60 is 17. Therefore, the magnitude of the normal force is about 